flammable or corrosive. You must select the proper plug to plug this container based off of that type of material. So a corrosive container, a corrosive material, what type of plug? Metal. Metal. So you're going to grab the metal plug and you're going to grab a hammer. You're going to insert the plug into the hole. Notice how he did that. One clean smack with the hammer and it will fit in there. See this a lot. You get folks to sit here and they try to... Most of the time when you hit that plug once, it bounces out. So just one clean smack with the hammer and it's good to go. If it's flammable, same thing. To select the right material. We're gonna roll it over, we're gonna give you a forklift function. You are gonna patch with a forklift function, patch the forklift punch. So you have a patch, you have cribbage, and you have a cargo strap. Yep, this is everybody's nightmare. Some things to consider. Where is your ratchet going to be? and how, which direction does it ratchet. You need to think about that before you just throw it on the barrel. So with it open, you're gonna lay out your strap. You're gonna slide it underneath. You're gonna have to work together. Barrel's full, you may have to kind of just work it back and forth underneath that barrel until you get it lined up with your hole. If it's lost a lot of material, you may be able to just simply pick it up and get it strap underneath. Then you are going to adjust your strap kind of where you want it needed. You need to remember to pull all the slack out of your cargo strap. Then you're going to put the patch over top. You're going to put the cribbage over top of that. You're going to hand your buddy the other end of the cargo strap. You do not want any metal touching your cribbage. You're going to see why. If you have metal touching the cribbage, it's going to push that cribbage one direction or another. Good. So pull all the slack out, and then you should be able to just ratchet it a couple of times, two or three times. And you're done. You do it in this method, you've got to have to hold that cribbage in place. It'll work, but you have to hold it in place. Well, I don't care if you do that. We're going to come up and we're going to grab your cribbage. And if I can move this cribbage, it's not tight enough. Ratchet it down a couple more times. Don't move. I'm just going to tell you new. Because that's what DOT is going to do. Okay, good to go. Take it off. All right, before he takes it all the way off, if you do it like this, which is what most students do, you're going to fight this cribbage. Okay? But I don't care where these hooks are. These hooks don't make any difference. They're just holding it together. So if you take this and you switch this over to this side where my hooks are down below and all I have is strap touching the cribbage. Again, pull all the slack out. Now ratchet. Nope, all right. Loose. Didn't quite go far enough. All right. side, it's just you're going to have to fight with it. You have to make sure it's good and tight. If you remember to get it all the way off, it just makes your life a lot easier. 